Attention City Park West residents. This is a community notification of a new sexually violent predator in your area. Please stay tuned to the following short program for more information. Hi, I'm Technician Ron Hackett with the Denver Police Department. The Sex Offender Registration and Compliance Unit at DPD is responsible for the registration, monitoring, and tracking of all registered sex offenders and sexually violent predators who live in the city and county of Denver. Here's a brief history of sex offender legislation in Colorado. Our state laws trickle down from federal government mandates. In 1994, we had the Jacob Wetterling Act, which mandated that states would establish a sex offender list. Megan's Law of 1996 said that the public would have access to those sex offender registration lists. The Pam Lichner Act of 1996 stated that some offenders might have to have lifetime registrations. And the Adam Walsh Act of 2006 unified sex offender laws across the country. In Colorado, the legislature has determined that sexually violent predators, by definition, pose a higher risk to the community at large and therefore mandated that upon their release from the Department of Corrections, the community must be notified. Sex offender notification in Colorado happens in two ways. The first is passive and ongoing through the sex offender registration process, which is a list maintained by local police departments. The second way is active via community notification for those offenders determined to be sexually violent predators by the courts or by the parole board. Most sex offenders in Colorado are supervised by the criminal justice system in our communities. Most sex offenders engage in crossover behavior, which means they may have been arrested for one type of crime, but be apt to commit another. Many sex offenders have no criminal history at all prior to their arrest. There is no typical sex offender, but all tend to be deceptive, manipulative, and secretive. 80 to 93% of sex offenses are committed by someone known to the victim. Sexual deviancy begins in mid to late adolescence. Sex offenses are not impulsive. They are usually carefully planned, and most sex offenders are male. The community has a vested interest in helping offenders to be successfully managed in the community. Sex offenders have the same need for housing and employment as any other citizen. Any citizen who uses sex offender information to harass, threaten, or intimidate an offender will be subject to criminal prosecution. There are approximately 16,500 registered sex offenders in the state of Colorado. About 65% of convicted sex offenders are placed in the community on probation. The remainder are in the Department of Corrections or Community Corrections. Offenders may be caught for one type of offense, but be at a high risk to commit another type. Crime of conviction is only one indicator of risk. A sexually violent predator must register with the Denver Police Department Sex Offender Registration Unit every three months for the rest of their life. The offender's residence must be verified quarterly by the Denver Police Department. The full sex offender registration list is available by calling the Denver Police Department Identification Bureau at 720-913-6756. Convicted felons and those with multiple convictions are posted online at denvergov.org slash police. Remember, sexually violent predators do not represent all dangerous sex offenders. The community notification process and sex offender registration are not a complete deterrent to sexual assault. Now, here's a look at the newest sexually violent predator living in Denver. Here's an overview of the registered sex offenders currently living in Denver. There are 2,536 total living within city limits. In Denver Police District 6, there are 467. Precinct 622 has 33 registered sex offenders. Of those, 23 have felony convictions and 10 have misdemeanor convictions. Pierre Darnell Sudbury is a sexually violent predator currently living in Denver. He's 35 years old and was born on November 21, 1986. He's a black male, 5 feet 9 inches tall, 250 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. He's currently living as a transient near East 18th Avenue and North Williams Street in the City Park West neighborhood of Denver. Schools located within one mile of this offender include University Prep Arapaho Street at 2409 Arapaho Street, Manual High School and McAuliffe Manual Middle School, both at 1700 East 28th Avenue, Gilliam School at 2844 Downing Street, Whittier Elementary at 2480 Downing Street, Moray Middle School at 840 East 14th Avenue, DC 21 at Wyman Middle School and High School at 1690 William Street, Polaris Elementary at 410 Park Avenue West, St. Elizabeth School at 2350 Gaylord Street, East High School at 1600 City Park Esplanade, Prep Academy at 2727 Columbine Street, French American School of Denver at 2280 East 16th Avenue.
Parks located within one mile of this offender include City Park Municipal Golf Course, Benedict Fountain Park, Denver Botanic Gardens, Quick Park, Fuller Park, Cheeseman Park, City Park, Sunny Lawson Park, Park Avenue Parks, Walker Park, Douglas Park, Capitol Hill Reservoir. Recreation centers located within one mile of this offender include Glenarm Rec Center at 2800 Glenarm Place, Carla Madison Rec Center at 2401 East Colfax Avenue. Bus routes located within one mile of this offender include Route 20, North William Street and East 17th Avenue, North High Street and East 18th Avenue, North Franklin Street and East 18th Avenue, North Downing Street and East 18th Avenue, North Ray Street and East 17th Avenue, Route 12, North Downing Street and East 18th Avenue. A brief history of charges against this offender, sexual assault on a child and sex assault 3 without consent. He's not currently on parole and registered with the Denver Police Department on January 11, 2022 as a transient living near East 18th Avenue and North William Street in the City Park West neighborhood of Denver. Past charges against this offender include aggravated assault weapon, felony menacing, child abuse, negligence, no injury, aggravated vehicle theft, possession of burglary tools, possession of a controlled substance, parole violation, possession of stolen property, criminal trespass, distribution of a controlled substance, flight escape, obstruct police, interference with police officer, possession of marijuana, traffic offenses. Pierre Darnell Sudbury has been determined a sexually violent predator after meeting the following criteria. Criteria 1, age 18 or older on the date of the offense, or under 18 and tried as an adult. The offender was age 20 at the time of the offense. Criteria 2, the crime must have been committed on or after July 1, 1997 and convicted on or after July 1, 1999. Crimes include sexual assault, felony unlawful sexual contact, sexual assault on a child, sexual assault on a child by a person in a position of trust. The offender was convicted on January 22, 2007 for sexual assault on a child and sex assault 3 without consent. Criteria 3, the relationship to the victim was one of the following. Victim was a stranger to the offender, or the offender established or promoted a relationship with the victim primarily for the purpose of sexual victimization. The victim was a 14-year-old female. The offender was known to the victim. Criteria 4, positive results or the passing of a risk assessment instrument administered by probation parole staff and a qualified treatment evaluator. Positive results include an assessment for the presence of a mental abnormality, a level of denial regarding the offense, treatment appropriateness and motivation, presence of sexual deviant interests. The offender was evaluated by the Adams County Courts with positive results, determining him to be a sexually violent predator.